lines, I see the pictures, and who did that to the blinds? My same eight-year-old. Who did this to the walls? <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that that's a badass kid. <laughs> hey, what's going on? It's your favorite attorney, attorney session. I'm going to react to another judge show video for you today. In fact, I'm going to be reacting to Judge Judy's show, Kids Destroyed Rental. Judge Judy wants answers. So I've done other judge reaction shows before, and I love reacting to these because it's my hope and my big baby plan that one day I become a TV judge. So I just wanna recap how things work. TV judges are in fact arbitrators for the purposes of the cases they preside over. What this means is that the parties agree to let these judges as arbitrators decide on their cases or issues. At the end of the day, these judges' decisions as arbitrators can be binding, which means they can be enforced in courts and jurisdictions all over the country. You may ask yourself, how does arbitration differ from mediation? Arbitrators listens to the facts and the evidence from each party and renders an award. Mediators help define and understand each party's issues and each side's interests to come to an agreement. It's also healthy to note that arbitrators really don't have to follow any settled law when rendering their decisions. However, if ever given the opportunity to have my own judge show, I promise to use and consider settled law in deciding on all of these disputes. So now that that's over, let's check out this Judge Judy episode. Ms. Hill, you're the owner of a rental property yes. that the defendant was renting from you since 2015. Correct. What kind of rental property is it? A uh, single family home. Do you own the home? I do. When did you purchase it? In 2012. Did you purchase it as a rental property? I did not. I lived in the residence before renting it to the defendant. Who daughter? And why did you move out? Um, I was relocated for work, so I moved to Florida. She asks these questions really fast. Don't even give people a chance to respond. Come on, you gotta let them talk, Judy. How much did you pay for the house? I bought the house from an auction for about $13,000. And did you put any money into it? I did. I put about $20,000 into the home. And you lived in it after you purchased it and after you renovated it with your daughter from 2012 to 2015 when you leased it to the defendant. That is correct. So it was renovated in 2012. That is correct. Is your claim that when the defendant moved out, she left extensive damage in the house. The defendant says there wasn't extensive damage. Whatever was there, it was normal wear and tear. So do you have photographs of the house from when you moved out? I do not. Tell me when the defendant moved out. June of 2017. And she notified you she didn't want to renew her lease? She notified the property manager at the time. How much was rent? Her rent was $800. Uh, initially started in the first lease at 750 So as you notice, Judge Judy is trying to get all the facts of the case. She's trying to get the evidence from both parties. Well, she's trying to get the evidence from one party right now, and I assume that next she's going to try to ask questions to get evidence from the other side. That's what I noted about arbitration, how the arbitrator or the judge in this case tries to get information about the dispute from both parties. The last year was 800? That's correct. Where were you moving to? I was moving back home with my mother to help her out because she had just a few months previous to that I lost her husband and I was So you were moving back with your mother? Yeah. She don't want all that extra information. She just wants the facts because uh, she had had, uh, no, we don't want all that. Judy just wants the facts. How many people lived in the house? Me, my three kids, and the other tenant. You had two tenants in the house? Um, I had two adult tenants, yes. Did the other tenant remain? No. They moved into the property together and they moved out of the property together. Is this someone that you are a friend <laughs> to? My cousin. When you moved out in June, you received, according to your complaint, a notification that you should come out to see the house. That's correct. When the defendant moved out of the property, I was notified by Did the Did you do a walkthrough with the property manager when you moved out? We did a walkthrough in May when it came up. What day in June did you move out? I moved out June 1st. I would like to see a copy of the walkthrough. I don't like how she cuts people off. I really hate that. You know, you don't have to be rude and mean, Judy. You don't have to cut people off like that. Let them talk. I would like to see a copy of the walkthrough. They didn't give me no copy. Do you have a copy of the walkthrough? I do not. I just have photos of the walkthrough from the day she moved out. Please keep all copies of anything you do, especially if you are renting an apartment or something. If you do a walkthrough when you leave, 
it's healthy to take pictures and to also get a copy of a walkthrough form and a walkthrough checklist if they have one. Make sure you keep all your records because landlords be doing some shady stuff. May I see them? Yes. Who's writing on the wall? <laughs> My eight-year-old daughter. Well, that's ridiculous. Yes, it is. Who told her that that was an appropriate thing to do, to write on somebody else's walls? Obviously, Judy had, Judy doesn't have kids. <laughs> um, unless somebody tells this little kid that they're not supposed to be writing on the wall, a kid is going to automatically assume they can write on the damn wall. I had a four-year-old, and uh, I only had to tell her once not to write on the walls. Is it an appropriate thing? No for an adult, but isn't an appropriate thing for a kid? Yeah, Judy, it is. Each time she done it, she was put on punishment for it. This isn't a one-shot deal of her writing on the walls. She wrote on the walls often, at different times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, who was supervising her? Who was supervising her? That's, That's what she asked, some bad parenting. Bad parenting, supervise your kids. Who was supervising her? That's my right question, there. you have the answer. She might have been upstairs after she left the bathroom. Or whatever. Just show this to the defendant, please, and tell me who did that to the blinds. Okay, these blinds, I see the pictures, and who did that to the blinds? My same eight year old. Who did this to the walls? <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that that's a badass kid. <laughs> holes in the walls. By me living there, I will take responsibility for the holes in the walls. Same person I just showed you about the other two. It's the same one who was doing all the damage. What happened to the kitchen cabinets? Okay, well, you see the paint coming off that? They were painted gray, and by me cleaning the cabinets with bleach. The bleach, what they did was, was damage the cabinet, and the paint started coming off, and that's why the cabinets were like that. You have communication from the property manager? Yes. I'd like to see it. Of course, as you see, both sides are presenting evidence, and actually, Judge Judy is doing a good job of asking for this evidence from both sides. And it's like I said, it's real good to have everything in writing, to have pictures, whatever you need if you're going into arbitration with someone. Say, for instance, you're arbitrating with a big company, they're pretty much going to have in your terms of services the arbitration process. You're going to have an arbitration clause in your terms of services. Pay attention to that clause because usually they're going to say you're going to arbitrate with companies like Fair Claims or AAA or some other type of professional arbitration organization. What these organizations are going to ask you to do is upload evidence of your dispute. And if you don't have the evidence, you can pretty much rest assured you're going to lose. That was the afternoon of the walkthrough where... Could you please show this to the defendant? He and the contractor took photos and also gave me um, the estimate amount of damages. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. Is she living with you now? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. How does she and her children treat your property? They treat it all right. Well... <laughs> they treat it all right. <laughs> taught how to treat other people's property like this. Nobody. Did you have the place fixed? I have. Do you have the receipts for me? I do. Would you like the receipts or would you like I have a breakdown of everything? Well, I would like the re actual receipts. Okay. Did you re-rent the property or are you selling it? Um, the property has not been rented again because of the pest. So when she left the property, she left it infested with bed bugs, roaches, and mice. Oh, oh my God. Bed bugs, roaches, and mice. That sounds disgusting. So on the initial visit to Ohio to take care of the property and restore it, we were not able to do any of the work on that initial visit because when we walked through, we had five contractors with us and at least a dozen mice scurried across the floor. We also noticed that there was a roach infestation. We called out the exterminator and then he advises that there was also a bed bug infestation. Uh. Charging for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished. Thank you, Your Honor. So that went fairly quick. As you can see, one party had her evidence. She had her ducks in a row. And uh, she was able to prove to Judge Judy the charges that she paid for the repairs and everything that the other lady messed up uh, with her uh, rental property. And the judgment was for the plaintiff, which is the lady who was suing the tenant. So again, if you're going into arbitration, 
it's good to have all your evidence lined up. It makes your case better because once again, this decision will be binding and able to be enforced in courts in various jurisdictions all over the country. Thank you for tuning in to this short episode of Attorney Session reacting to the TV judge, Judge Judy. Please, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to try to dish out as much content as possible to you all. And also, please check out my videos on the Attorney Reacts YouTube page. And thank you for tuning in. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.